Hi everyone, it's Kiri here for Hip Kit Club. My assignment for this month was to use one of the fabulous new metal dies from the August kits. And I pulled out the Boho Lace Border Die. And then I'm using elements from the main kit and the embellishment kit. So I decided to make a feature of the um, the die because it is it's about nine and a half inches um, long, and I thought it would be perfect to basically make a layered background. So I've pulled out seven different pattern papers, and then I'm going to cut um, uh, strips. The metal I'm going to cut seven of the metal guide strips. There we go, actually getting it out. And they cut that um, paper. It's like butter. They cut through it beautifully and um, there are no issues with popping any of the little tiny pieces out or anything like that. So it's really, really lovely. Now, when I when I when after I cut them, there was a number of areas where I, I thought that it'd be quite nice to add some stitching detail. So I'm doing a bit of a zigzag stitch um, on each um, on each of them. So to be honest, it didn't, it was, it was fine. It was actually really, really quite therapeutic because I sat there just in front of the TV and I stitched my way through all um, seven of the strips. I just pulled out some coordinating thread and there you go, as if by magic, I'm all done. And um, I've just layered them up on a white cardstock background, just, you know, laid them up centrally. Um, and then I've, and by doing that, I've created a really pretty, layered background it's given me texture I've got dimension um because I've got the added stitching but I've got the layers as well because I've obviously just stuck them down at the top edge so now what I'm doing I am pulling out some of the ephemera and I have um different elements here I've got some of the floral um ephemera which is from the embellishment kit I've got some of the regular ephemera from the main kit um, and then I'm just sort of placing them and I am going for a bit of a tone on tone look I do like that particularly because I've my stripes sort of follow it it's not a rainbow water because obviously I don't have all the colors here but you know what I mean so um, yes I'm sort of working out where they're going to go I'm going to create a cluster around the photo and then I thought two other clusters because that gives you the balance it's that rule of three um, when you creating you sort of have three areas of interest and that draws the eye in now I do have that balloon over there and I really loved it and I was thinking I really wanted to add that in and um yeah but it sort of ended up it felt like it would end up making fourth cluster and that just didn't fit for me so I do have to, I did have to make a tweak as I was going with this because I, st I had stuck some elements down but anyway that's okay um so yes I'm just working through here I'm just um curving up the edges which I always do with any ephemera because I never stick everything down completely flat so yeah and then I'm just sort of building my clusters here at the moment having a bit of a play seeing how it all works it isn't quite how it looks at the end but it give it's it's really my starting point so Everything's off now and I can start to get things stuck down, which I'm I'm just doing here. So I'm just using a white um, uh, Nouveau glue and then just sticking them down. As I said, I stick things in the center and then some elements I'm just layering up on um, foam pads like the Be the Sunshine saying that I'm adding here. Again, keeping to the same yellow type tones. So yeah, I get all of this stuck down and this is the bit that I have to tweak in a bit a little later on because I just I was still I think thinking I was going to add the balloon it just didn't really work for me it then felt a bit unbalanced with where I've got this cluster so I had to do in a bit of an adjustment um and of course I've stuck it all down with wet glue which does stick really well so I've I had to very carefully sort of use a spatula to lift it up and then move it I, I was able to tweak it enough that I added a little bit more to that top cluster and so I still was able to cover up some because I did rip some of the paper but actually I was able to cover it up and it was fine so you know happy accident it's fine it all worked okay so just building in the um the cluster here with the teals in the light and the darker teal colors and then I've added the fl the florals over on the right there in the sort of soft, peachy, beigey tones. So just work my way through. I've mounted my photo. Um, in fact, I was actually going to add another strip into the background using, a, it was a um, small floral pattern paper. Um, 
but it just looked a bit odd. All of the others were pretty much one colour, if you know what I mean. Like it's more yellow, it's more orange. But this was quite mixed um, and it just didn't work. So I didn't add that in. But I'm at, And I'm happy with how this looked in the end. So, but I did use it to mount my um, my photograph. So um, that was the, the small floral paper was called Dream Big. Okay, where have I got to? Okay, I think I've got, yes, yeah, so you can see now the top one corrected it I've just changed it and um, I've moved it across I've also added in one of the acetate um, die cuts that's in the embellishment kit those lovely mandalas and I've used one of those to sort of build and create a slightly bigger embellishment cluster at the top and I will actually add a little bit more to it later on. So I'm finishing, I've got my clusters pretty much done. I've added in a couple of those layered accent stickers, which are lovely. They come in the embellishment kit. Um, I've got a heart up on the uh, right there with chill out on it. And then at the bottom, I've got one that says loving life. Now I'm just adding in some of the glitter epoxy shapes that are in the main kit, just some of the little circular ones. And where am I now? Ah, so life is good. I've raised it up on foam pads. I played around with whether I was going to have it sat at the top. And actually, it, when I was sort of playing the video back, it actually looked quite good sat a little bit further up. But I do like it down at the bottom. It sort of feels like it, it creates that cluster um, around the photo, which is what I was wanting. I've added in the tag over on the left there, and I just looped some um, coordinating thread, and I'll add my journaling on there um, uh, off camera. And then I think I'm pretty much done. Um, oh, here we go. This is where I've extended that top one. There you go. Because obviously I've not added the balloon anymore, um, and I'm happy with how it looks in the end. It would have been, it just would have been unbalanced. So yeah, um, here we go. Here's the final layout. Um, I hope you've enjoyed watching the process video. Do give it a go using a metal die to create a, an impactful background. It was um, it was really fun to do and I'm really happy with how it looked. So thank you so much for watching the process video and I hope to see you again soon. Bye for now.